This one is called the sunflower. No inverting required. Prerequisite for this is you should just be comfortable with a forearm climb. Okay, because the forearm climb is going to give you the leverage to get your legs in the position that you need them to be. Contact points, one of your knees, it's going to be on the inside part of it, and the other knee, it's going to be on the outside part of it. So you pick, you choose, okay? And then also on the back side of the arm, okay? So whichever is the top leg, that arm is also going to be a contact point, okay? So for this one, um, I find... Going to climb up and dropping down into it helps everything get in a better place than just trying to like put the legs in position from the floor. Plus, depending on flexibility, sometimes from the floor, it's hard to lift our legs up, okay? Very far. So with this one, you don't have to go a very big climb. It could literally be just like two inches, but I find going up and sinking down into this move really helps everything lock in, you know, really grab a hold of your skin, not always in a good way, okay? For this, if you're familiar with a stargazer, this starts in a very similar position. If you're already comfortable with a stargazer, add a bonus, but you don't have to have a stargazer. Or I was originally taught it was called a Barbie. Whichever, so many names, okay? So you're gonna go climb up. Like I said, it doesn't have to be high. And then from here, whichever leg you're gonna have high, I prefer to have that be my forearm that I'm using. So I'm gonna push, bring that knee up, and I'm pushing with my bottom leg, my shin and my bottom leg, okay? For those of you that are not familiar, this one is the stargazer here. In doing that, it gets this top knee like way into that knee pit here, okay? So that's the first step is getting to where you feel that. One of the things with this, and this is where I think it helps to take it to a climb and drop down, the push with this lower leg really helps push it into the back of this knee versus if I just kind of put my leg here from the ground, I don't feel that same leverage with it. Okay, so it's a combination of pushing with that bottom leg and there is a slight lean back, okay, which is a little bit of a trust thing, but the nice thing is you're only a few inches off the ground. If you slide, you're down on your feet, okay? So when you hook this leg, I'm gonna grab it with the opposite foot or hand, this is my hand, grab my foot with my opposite hand and really think about engaging my glutes to push my pubic bone towards the pole. Okay, when we're actually doing it, you're gonna be touching the pole, but just for demo, I wanna think of instead of my butt being back here, push, okay? And of course that bottom shin is also pushing into the pole and that's gonna help get the top leg in position. The security of this top knee is what's gonna make and break everything else in this move, okay? Because if that top knee is in a good position, you're gonna feel secure enough to transition to get the other leg and the arm in position. If the top knee is feeling a little iffy, you're probably not gonna feel very comfortable going to the next part. So really important to spend some time on this, okay? So this is where that sink down part comes to, is you can, depending on flexibility, strength, from that climb, I don't know if you could see, I lifted my knee up, grabbed it with my foot, and then kind of let myself sink down. You don't have to lift your knee up, you can also just let your bottom leg slide, okay? So from the side, if I go here, I can grab this leg, pull it, and then let myself slide down into it, okay? And it has a very similar effect. But that being said, I don't know if you can see, I was starting to run out of space. So if you are gonna do the slide down version versus the raise your leg up higher version, you might wanna take it two climbs up just to give yourself a little bit of space, okay? So either A, we're lifting the knee up and then grabbing, or reaching down, grabbing the foot, and then letting that second leg slide down, okay? So we're getting that top knee nice and deep in the knee pit and sinking all the way down so you get your entire thigh from knee to ass cheek, butt cheek, all the way to the pole, okay? So next step, that basically gets us to our stargazer. To start to transition the first part, initially in stargazer, our hips are square to the pole. To get to the sunflower position, we're gonna tilt our hips. So first get the knee hooked. You might have a tiny bit of a tilt while you're hooking the knee and that's okay, but it can be straight, relatively speaking. Once we've got a hold of that foot and our knee is feeling hooked, you're gonna open your hips. Think of instead of your hips being horizontal, you're trying to push them to where they're stacked vertical. They're not going to get there, but you want to think of sliding down that way because that's what's going to help us hook that second knee, okay? So taking it up, first knee, grab, slide it down so you get that contact point all the way down here. Now from here, I'm going to reach across with my other hand, okay? So same hand as leg. Grab a hold of this hand, switch to grab the pole. Now, here's where that hip shift is gonna take place. Open that knee and lean. So see how my hips start to get onto a diagonal? Now I'm gonna switch my hand grip again. 
grab this. Now, this arm, I wanna get my armpit as close on here because my goal is to reach that foot way down there. I'm going to reach, swim it back. So that helps pull me in and then reach down and grab. If that feels secure and try to grab your ankle versus your toes. If that feels secure, then you can release this other hand, make whatever shapes you want, spirit fingers. Okay, so this is your sunflower. When you're ready to come out, re-grab this foot, release the bottom foot, re-grab the pull, re-grab, and you're in a pull sit. Okay, Ooh, foot cramps. So that is the sunflower. First start with getting comfortable with that top knee hook, okay? Don't try to rush that top knee hook, otherwise it's just gonna keep sliding down. So make sure you spend some time getting comfortable making sure that top knee hook is in position, getting that stargazer position. If that feels okay from that stargazer position, then we're gonna switch the hand grip, drop the hip, get that bottom knee to the pole, and then that last bit is that arm coming through and then grabbing. Something to note here. The shape of your sunflower is going to look different for everyone, depending on the length of your legs, the length of your arms, your flexibility. You don't need to have super wide open splits, okay? Um, I do have open hips, which means when I go into it, they end up opening because I need that tension. So those of you that are more flexy, you're gonna have to really push into it so you have tension. Those of you that are less flexy might not have to work as hard to pull into it in some ways, but in other ways you might have to work harder. Does that make sense? So. Bottom line, what I'm trying to say is, if you feel like flexibility is an issue for you in a lot of things, you're like, oh, my split doesn't look like hers, this move is not for me. It is for you, still try it, okay? It's gonna look different on everyone. Okay, so let's just do a real quick recap on this. Take it at least one climb up. If you're doing the slide down method, take it two climbs up so you have a little extra elevation. Forearm climb, whichever knee you're hooking, use that forearm, get the knee in position, Grab the ankle, sink it down till your butt cheek comes to the pole. I'm leaning back with my chest, okay? Once that feels good, bring that bottom leg around, tilt the hips, bend the bottom leg, okay? I didn't do the hand switch this time, hand, hand. You can, or you can leave it. See, I just left it with this hand. Arm, reach forward first, and then swim it back, and then reach down. If you just try and reach down, I don't know about you, but my armpit just gets stuck on my leg, okay? So I reach back, that pulls my chest in, gets it deep into my armpit, and then reach down and grab this leg. If that feels secure, release all the things to come out, re-grab the foot, then release the bottom foot, re-grab the pole, and pulse it or wherever you would like to go. Okay, that is your sunflower. Have fun with it. Go make your own beautiful sunflower if it feels comfortable. Put it together with some of your other favorite moves. This one works on spin, it works on static. I think this is a great one for static because it definitely has a very nice angle from the front, but it looks great from all angles too. Also, a great one for photo shoots, should you be looking for some photo shoot ideas in the upcoming future. So, have fun with it, let me know how it goes. Mm -hmm.